Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. You know, I almost did something other than a bun today, but I just didn't feel like it. So a messy bun, one again. It's okay, cause it's, it's still cute. I just wanted to give you guys um, a short tutorial. This is kind of a reverse nailed it video because I know typically in my nailed it videos, I'm showing you all how to do a manicure or how to put on fake nails, which I've gotten into recently and I'm having a lot of fun with that. But today I'm gonna show you all how to safely remove your fake nails. Because if you don't do this, you can really do a lot of damage to your natural nail beds, which of course we don't want. So I'm gonna show you how to safely remove those fake nails with as little to no damage at all so you can thank me later thank me later thank me later and don't forget to like comment and subscribe Mwah. love you guys hey smileys I've already trimmed down the artificial nails with um, clippers so they're about the same length as my natural nails this will save lots of time soaking off more than you necessarily need to also, remove any old nail polish first, which I actually didn't even do here. Don't be like me, be better than me, smileys. Soak your nails in pure acetone for about 20 to 30 minutes. This will literally melt the artificial nail away before your eyes. Now, this can be time consuming, especially using a single dish. So I'm actually using two here, but they definitely make acetone safe trays that are made for soaking all five fingers at once for an even quicker removal. And removing the polish first will definitely shave off some soak time as well. So remember I said that. After you've soaked for a good little while, you can gently scrape the surface off with an orange stick and continue to soak the nails until they are completely dissolved from your natural nail. I've actually heard that heating the acetone will speed up the process a bit more, but I've never tried it myself, so I can't vouch for it. The acetone breaks down the false nails and makes it really gummy and because I didn't remove the old polish first it looks a bit messy but that's okay. Just repeat this process on all of your nails then use a file or buffer to remove any remaining particles. After I removed all of the fake nails, my real nails definitely needed a little extra love. So I used a file to do some additional filing to shape and smooth them out a little more. You'll notice that your natural nails will probably be slightly weaker or more brittle than they were before. To help them get stronger, try using a strengthening base coat like Sally Hansen's 7-in-1 nail treatment to repair the nail and promote nail growth. You may even want to try um, a hair skin and nail supplement. I like to take Nature's Bounty Hair Skin and Nails Gummies. They are full of vitamin E and C for healthy skin and nails, and they're also full of biotin, which helps to maintain healthy hair. Try them if you haven't already. They're, they're great. And they're strawberry flavored, so they're not that bad going down. And I actually ended up doing my usual nail prep routine here, which includes filing, cleaning, and buffing my nails, as well as pushing back my cuticles with my metal orange stick. After you're done there, you're just gonna wash your hands with warm water and soap and towel dry. Be sure to moisturize and rub your nail beds. And that's a wrap. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Love you, smileys. See you next time. Mwah.